फ्रेंड्स देर इज अ रीजन वाई आई कॉल पिंग ट्रेस रूट एंड टेल नेट योर ब्रेड एंड बटर कमांड्स फॉर नेटवर्क ट्रबल शूटिंग द रीजन इज इवन वाइल यूजिंग दीज थ्री कमांड दीज बेसिक कमांड यू कैन डू अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल शूटिंग ऑन योर ओन एंड कम टू अ प्लेस वेयर यू कुड इन्वॉल्व एक्सपर्ट्स ओके सो वॉट अ पिंग डज पिंग सिंपली चेक्स वेदर अ रिमोट डिवाइस is available or not for example if a website is not reachable one thing which you could do is you can try pinging you can try pinging its ip address and see if you are getting the response and if you are not getting the response you can come to a basic conclusion that there could be something broken in the networks because the response is not coming and it could be due to any reason we have not yet concluded it but at least you can say that you know the server is not reachable now it could be that server can be uh, down and there could be a number of issues which we'll understand in the next section which is the framework okay but for now let's have these practical handy tools with us so first try the ping if you see that okay the ping response is not coming your immediate next step should be trace root because now what trace root is trying to do would be that from your source to your destination it would check every hop which the network takes and maybe it could be through different uh, you know router devices and it would you know it would see there would be a time to live packet and it would check whether it is getting response from every place or not and for example if it breaks uh, it will show step by step by step and suppose from here it, it is broken then we can say that somewhere here the problem is present so trace root is a very good example telnet is a different kind of command which you can use which could actually check whether a particular service is available on a particular port for example for this same situation you are able to log in to your web server but after that when you are trying to make an entry uh, you are not able to do anything because it says that database is down in those cases you can use telnet to see whether a particular application is listening on a particular port for example if this database was oracle we can check whether our oracle server is listening on port 1521 i think this is the default port i don't know so you can you know you can do a telnet the ip address of uh, oracle server and then port 1521 and you should see a success and then that will show that your network port is accessible if not it could be a firewall issue it could be that this particular port is not at all accessible or maybe this particular port specific port is down on the server there could be a number of issues but telnet gives you that kind of visibility so these three even before understanding any theory i wanted to give you practical three tools with these three tools you can do any kind of troubleshooting but the problem is if you do not have the framework in mind you will get lost so now understand the fix it framework which will not help you fix every issue on network but it will also give you an approach which would help you fix issues on other in other areas as well so now let's understand the fix it framework so this is our five step fix it framework and the number one step for troubleshooting any issue and especially network issue starts with finding the problem and when we say finding the problem we have to collect whatever data we can whatever information we can uh, for that particular issue for example if a user comes in and says that i am not able to log in then we have to exactly find why he or she is not able to log in okay we have to clearly define what is the problem is the user not able to log in from laptop is the user not able to log in through mobile is the user not able to log in from one particular network location or a wifi what the problem is so finding the problem uh, you everything starts with that and then once you have found the problem once you have defined the basic problem then comes the next step which is inspect the symptoms what are the symptoms what the user is facing what kind of information you have gathered and what kind of symptoms you can see for example but user says uh, in the first phase that i am not able to log in but when you are inspecting the system he or she says that i am not able to log in during the busy hours now that is a different problem right because when he the moment the user says it is a busy whenever i am uh, facing uh, this issue generally it is a busy thursday or busy tuesday the problem narrative has changed so inspecting the symptom again the another could be is it is it only you who's facing this uh, login issue or other leagues of yours are also facing the issue so that shows that how broader the impact is whether the whole network itself is not able to access that particular uh, website or portal so all those kind of symptoms you have to inspect 
to further define the problem and narrow it down. The target of any troubleshooting is to narrow it down bit by bit by bit to a level where we could not further go down. Okay, so we have to funnel it down as much as possible. So finding the problem, then inspecting the symptoms. The third is exclude possibilities. So once we have all this data, a very good thing which we can do is to exclude what could be the reasons. Okay, excluding those possibilities, excluding those root causes. Let's take an example. We took an example that a user is not able to log in. Now, when user says that I am not able to log in during busy hours, that means that connectivity part per se could be fine. Why? Because it's only during the busy hours when the particular user is facing the issue, which shows that it could be a load issue on the particular server. Because when too many users, when too many users are bombarding that particular server, okay, the server might be facing performance lag. We could kind of exclude it. We can never say that for sure it is not the issue, but what we can do, we can exclude. So one thing we could, which we could exclude, for example, is that it, it could not be a port issue because if, if it would have been the port issue it would have not been accessible anytime during the day. But on the other side, it could well very happen that when the load is coming, this particular port is going down. Okay, so what we are trying to do, we are trying to exclude the possibility, the possibility of a router not working, okay, of a particular router not working is again going down and down because this is only happening when the load is too high and generally the routers are capable enough to ha handle those kind of uh, loads. It's generally your web server which is not scaling uh, enough on time because th this particular router is not only used for your server, it is used for so many servers. So again, uh, you need to understand that it could be a performance issue on the server side or maybe there could be a performance issue on the client network side, but not at the router level. It And again, all these are assumptions we are making. We are trying to exclude the possibilities, but with an open mind that we could be wrong. Once you have these three steps, okay, we come to the fourth step where we implement a fix hypothesis. What is an hypothesis? Hypothesis is a kind of a test we try to run to understand whether our hypothesis is right or wrong. For example, this particular user is facing the issue during peak hours. Uh, that particular user is not able to access the server. So now one particular uh, hypothesis could be that we ask five different users to test the same website, the same web server at the same time at the same peak hours. You know, if all five or four or five of them face the same issue, then we can say that it could be a load. But what if only one particular user is facing it? Then what we can do, we can ask this particular user to instead of trying to log into this server, try to log into another server in the same network. Maybe it could be a quality server and see that if he or she is facing the same issue, it could be that the problem lies with his workstation or a very specific setting on his uh, laptop. So this is how you implement a fixed hypothesis. And if your first hypothesis is wrong. For example, this whole hypothesis which we are building that it could be a performance issue, it could be a load on the server suddenly fails because this user faces the issue or multiple users faces the issue even in the lean time, even during the night when there is no load, the same issue of inaccessibility is coming. Again, the whole shift happens and we have to come up with a new hypothesis. So it is kind of an iterative process which you have to do until you narrow it down to the minute details okay. and then you know once you have done everything you have to do tracking what is tracking tracking means that once you have implemented the fix for example after doing this implement hypothesis your initial hypothesis was right and your server was facing uh, outages because of the heavy load and what you did you horizontally scaled it to three different nodes so now instead of one node, there are two, three nodes sitting with a load balancer, which is doing auto scaling. Okay, I'm just taking random examples, whatever is coming to my mind. But now with these load balancers, uh, the load is uh, equally distributed. So if you have created this hypothesis, the last thing which you have to do is to track it. Tracking means you have to document whatever you have done and you have to monitor that whether your hypothesis and your fix is working on in all the different conditions or not and documenting will help you because if you face the similar issue in the future you will not have to scratch your head and bend your back again okay 
so yes this is the fix it framework i use this acronym because it is easy to uh, re recall so we'll just rephrase it find the problem inspect the sy symptoms exclude the possibilities implement a fix hypothesis and iterate till the time you find a particular 100 percent sure shot fix and then you track it so this is your fix it framework which could be applied in fixing or troubleshooting different kind of issues now with this now comes the next section where we understand what three kind of approaches you can take on your osi layer which will help you further troubleshoot your issues in a better way so now let's discuss three strategies which we could uh, deploy while troubleshooting network issues uh, especially uh, taking OSI layer as our reference. If you don't know the OSI layer, we have our in-depth video on OSI layer which you could watch. But just for simplicity's sake, in order to remember this, we have our famous acronym which we, uh, you know, invented on IT Gifunde channel, uh, and which was all people should try new Domino's pizza. So we go from layer seven to layer one. So this is the acronym which we always use to remember all the seven layers. But the most important part is how to use this for your troubleshooting. So basically the three approaches which we are talking about is, so let's start with the number one. So number one approach is top down approach. So for example, in your top down approach, you will first see what if your application itself is misconfigured or if your application itself is not working correctly okay it could be due to a bug into your in your application it could be due to some issue with your http https protocol it could be some certificate issue all those kind of things which we check and it could vary i'm just giving you a strategy it will apply from case to case basis so top down approach always starts from the top from your application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer so where the tcp protocol or udp protocol comes in and then your IP packets come at the network layer. And generally this approach is very good if issue is very uh, persistent with a particular application or if the user, if a particular user or set of users are facing it, then it's always advisable to go top down because in all, uh, you know, in all possibilities, the problem will either be present in these three layers maybe, okay, or maybe at the transport layer. But for example, your whole you know office is not able to access anything now there you will deploy a bottom-up approach for example in your house also when you suddenly lose uh, your internet connectivity the first thing which you do because your whole house is down if, uh, virtually you go and see if your uh, router is plugged in and your cable is uh, router cable is plugged in properly or not your router is up and running or not so all those things what you are doing you are starting from the physical layer you are checking your cables and modems whether these are connected properly or not and then you move up so this is called as bottom up and then there is a third approach which is called as a hybrid. So what is a hybrid? So you take, I think from here, okay? So you take your layer three because layer three is very important guys. Layer three is where your IP packets come into picture. Layer three is where your routers come into picture. So you can take this as a center point and you can deploy hybrid approach, which is called as hybrid. So in hybrid from layer three, you will see upwards and downwards look based on your troubleshooting. For example, if you are trying to ping the server, and if the server itself is not available, that very well suggests that it could be an issue with the server, okay, that particular server. But from that same layer, if you are able to, uh, you know, if you are able to ping another server in the same subnet, that means that your routers are doing pretty much fine. So there is something, you know, from layer three up to layer seven, there is something happening there. So this is how you can deploy a hybrid approach. But for example, if you if you see that the whole subnet, you're not able to reach the whole network, you're not able to reach. So then you can go down. You can check at your data link or at your physical layer. OK, so this is called as hybrid approach. Generally, top down is used by people who are, you know, who are on the application end because they mostly know what's happening in top three, four layers, but they don't have much understanding the moment routers and switches come into picture, which is your layer three and layer two. And generally the network specialist, 
will not touch the problem till the time it uh, it reaches layer 3 or layer uh, layer 2 this is where the network specialist comes in so generally bottom up is something where network specialist starts because we don't have any clue how it is being done right behind the scenes and then hybrid is an approach which is uh, used by the intermediate users who have fair understanding of how this whole osi model works so guys i hope with these uh, you know these three strategies you will be better equipped to troubleshoot your issues so just to uh, refresh we understood the three bread and butter commands ping trace root and telnet then we moved on and we understood the fix it framework the five step framework to troubleshoot uh, a network issue or any issue for that matter and then now we know how we can use these three top down bottom up and hybrid strategies on osi layer to troubleshoot any kind of network issue so friends now i hope this video uh, is somewhat helpful if yes then please give us a like leave in the comment below what kind of uh, approaches you follow when troubleshooting any kind of issues and also suggest what other topics you want to learn on this channel so until next time keep learning keep sharing all your knowledge and yes keep hustling bye for now